the difference between a drop-down list and a combo box drop-down list in Word 365. Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and in this brief video I'm going to show you just what the difference is between a drop-down list and a combo box drop-down list in Word 365. On my screen I have a table and the table is there only to align my items so that they are in uh, a straight alignment, so that they're not crooked all over the page. In my first space here, I have an example of a drop-down list. And here it says, click or tap to choose an item. This is something that I created. I typed in those words when I created the drop-down list. So to make it work, you click on it, and it gives you a title. Um, it's telling you what you're going to be choosing here. And so to do it, you just click this little down arrow button over on the right. And you can only choose one item from this list. OK, so I chose one of the colors. And I'm going to click away from there, away from the table, so that you see what it looks like in the end. If I want, I can come back to the, to the drop-down list, and I can choose a different color. However, I cannot type anything in here. There's no place to type my own choice. So I have to choose only from this list. Now, when you have a combo box drop-down list, you can click or tap to choose an item from the list, or you can type in your own. So here's what that looks like. If I click here, the name or the title of this particular list is Donate to Our Animal Shelter. And it tells you click or tap to choose an item or type in your own. So if I click this little down arrow, I can choose one of these uh, donation amounts. Or I can come back to it and just start typing. Obviously, I'm not going to start typing in a place where there's already a dollar amount showing. I would have to start typing here. So I could type in my own dollar amount that I want to donate. OK, obviously, that's an odd number amount. I can also come back in and delete that one, delete it by just clicking on the same area again at the top of that list and type in my own dollar amount. If I change my mind, I can come back to the list and just choose one of the preset amounts. And so that's the difference between a drop-down list, where you have to pick one item from the list, and a combo box drop-down list where you can also choose from a single item from the drop-down list, or you can type in your own amount. In another video, I will show you how to build these drop-down lists and combo box drop-down lists as well.